Om Sai Ram. This is a reading of the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna's Council in Time of War, which was translated by Barbara Stoller Miller. I'll leave a link to the book below in case you'd like to read it. Now, this book isn't the entire Bhagavad Gita, but rather focuses on the portion where the sons of Pandu and the sons of Dhritarashtra face off on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. The 17th teaching, Three Aspects of Faith, Arjuna then asked, Men who ignore the ways of tradition but sacrifice in full faith Krishna, what of the quality of nature is basic in them? Lucidity, passion, or dark inertia? Lord Krishna responded, Listen as I explain the threefold nature of faith inherent in the embodied self, lucid, passionate, and darkly inert. The faith each man has, Arjuna, follows his degree of lucidity. A man consists of his faith, and as his faith is, so is he. Men of lucidity sacrifice sacrifice to the gods, men of passion to spirits and demons, the others, men of dark inertia, sacrifice to corpses and to ghosts. Men who practice horrific penances that go against traditional norms are trapped in hypocrisy and individuality, overwhelmed by the emotion of desire. Without reason, they torment the elements composing their bodies, and they torment me within them. Know them to have demonic resolve. Food is also of three kinds to please each type of taste. Sacrifice, penance, and charity likewise divide in three ways. Foods that please lucid men are savory, smooth, firm, and rich. They promote long life, lucidity, strength, health, pleasure, and delight. Passionate men crave foods that are bitter, sour, salty, hot, pungent, harsh and burning, causing pain, grief and sickness. The food that pleases men of dark inertia is stale, unsavory, putrid and spoiled, leavings unfit for sacrifice. A sacrifice is offered with lucidity when the norms are kept and the mind is focused on the sacrificial act without craving for its fruit. But a sacrifice is offered with passion, Arjuna, when it is focused on the fruit and hypocrisy is at play. A sacrifice is governed by dark inertia when it violates the norms, empty of faith, omitting the ritual offerings of food and chants and gifts, honoring gods, priests, teachers and wise men, being pure, honest, celibate and non-violent is called bodily penance. Speaking truth without offense, giving comfort and reciting sacred lore is called verbal penance. Mental serenity, kindness, silence, self-restraint and purity of being is called mental penance. This threefold penance is lucid when men of discipline perform it with deep faith, without craving for reward. Wavering and unstable, performed with hypocrisy to gain respect, honor and worship, that penance is called passionate. Performed with deluded perception, self-mortification or sadism, such penance has dark inertia. Given in due time and place to a fit recipient who can give no advantage, charity is remembered as lucid. But charity given reluctantly to secure some service in return or to gain a future reward is remembered as passionate. Charity given out of place and time to an unfit recipient ungraciously and with contempt is remembered for its dark inertia. Om Tat Sat, that is the real. This is the triple symbol of the infinite spirit that gave a primordial sanctity to priests, sacred lore and sacrifice. Om, knowers of the infinite spirit, chant it as they perform acts of sacrifice, charity and penance prescribed by tradition. Tat, men who crave freedom, utter it as they perform acts of sacrifice, charity and penance without concern for reward. Sat, it means what is real, what is good, Arjuna. The word Sat is also used when an action merits praise. Sat is steadfastness in sacrifice, in penance, in charity. Any action of this order is denoted by Sat. But oblation, charity and penance offered without faith are called Asat, for they have no reality here or in the world after death.